News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trade down now 183. NASDAQ is down 85. The S&P is down 16. Gold. Gold contract down $11.40, trading at $17.11 an ounce. We have silver flat, $17.87 an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, $86.85 a barrel. Notes and bonds. There's big numbers out here. You got the 10-year down one full point plus a tick at 115.20. The 30-year off two points plus seven ticks at 132.30. And you got the 10-year yielding 3.3 percent and king dollar just don't stop man. king dollar uh trading up 660 ticks 110 191 now the further the king dollar gets away from this 110 area folks the higher the probability that we're going to go to 121 and that is quite a move man i mean that's your next swing that's the all-time high man that was the high that was going back uh 20 years, I believe, because I started the gold report when it was at 121 and gold was at uh, 282. So uh, 121.30 is game. That's the bottom line. And what does that do? Well, if we go over the NDX, we already have the, the three Qs and a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. Now, what they're going to do out here today is confirm it again. They're actually going to do a larger one. That's what's going to happen here. Because you get that the B point on this ABC down is... 298.44. Now, to stay most conservative, you can keep that B point, and that's still going to bring you down to the lowest swing point of uh, basically uh, 280. That being said, guess what? You get a B point out here at 57 million, it's done 45 million, it's going to break it today. So that's a, even a larger ABC down that will probably take it right to the bottom of June. So the bottom line, that's where this market wants to go. We go to the gold contract, we take a look at gold, bottom line, gold finally got a bid, one day bid last week. Uh, you're pulling back today and you get some volume. You get 197,000 contracts. So bottom line, we'll see how this uh, low holds up of 1796.10. And we got down to 1799.10. Uh, bottom line, you know, you, you went higher today, gave it up on price. And of course, that's all about the Good old King Dollar, as is the market, man. The bottom line, this King Dollar wants to go. We go over the SPY, we take a look at the SPY. Now, the SPY is breaking a B.2, but it doesn't look like it's going to have the volume again. In both cases, the SPY didn't have the volume last Thursday, and it doesn't look like it's going to have it today. That being said, NDX 100, see ya. Don't want to be ya. Come right back, folks.